what um, theming uh, images. Okay, now <coughs> um, Drupal has built in image styles um, which you can configure at media. Um, image styles here and image styles basically are just ways of, of cropping, um, or, you know, cro you know, cropping or whatever, you know, scaling, cropping, image manipulation, basically. So if I wanted to add a style and I wanted my style to be, you know, called tiny, you know, create new style, and I want it to. <coughs> Um, select an effect. I want to um, scale and crop, and I want it to be 50 pixels. <laughs> you know what? Whatever by 50. So that's exactly what I want because that's where my my template styles. And this is the actual view. It's going to do that for me automatically. What's that called? Tiny. Okay. So we'll use that later. But that's in configuration media image styles. And you can delete them if you want, whatever you want, whatever you want to do. Okay. <coughs> so <coughs> we already have these um, coming out in our um, our node dot template content variable, but we don't want that now. So what we're gonna do is we're going back up to our structure. We're gonna go to our content types. We're gonna go to property, and we're gonna go to manage display. And now we have our property images. And now we're going to make this, like obviously, again, we could do the little widget and have tiny, right? But, what you know, that's, that's not actually going to do what we want. So we're going to make that hidden. <coughs> and we're going to save them. And we're going to just to check, we're going to go back to our, not our dashboard, we're going to go to our home, that one. And so now the images are gone. So I want to, I want to like, like ultimately create, you know, some, some, something like this, you know, where they can click, you know, have a feature image and you know other little images and stuff like that, <clears throat> and where you can click to enlarge them. And what do they got? A shadow box or a something on there? Oh, and a little advertisement in there too. Wow. Well, okay, that took a while to make. <laughs> All right. Um, <clears throat> so, what we're going to do now is we're going to go back um, and again, um, so we have our price. I'm going to make a, you know, div um, dot image gal, right? So it's going to give me a class image gal, um, and then in my class image uh, gal, whatever it is, you know, then you can add and you with CSS and stuff like that. But now we're gonna need some PHP. And what we're gonna do is we want to var dump. I'm gonna go V A R dump. What are we gonna var dump? We are gonna var dump property images. Node property images mm -hmm. back here refresh okay so now we got a very big <coughs> array and you can kind of see um, some things that it's not it's not really that scary um, you know I prefer just to look at it when you're when you're dumping them out um, into them um, in to this mode anyway so it's an array, it's an array UND zero, um, so UND, and then it has um, multiple values after that, whereas two values after that. So we, so obviously this is going to be in a some sort of for each statement. Um, so let's make that happen. All right, because of um, um, Drupal's um. Um, built-in file system or managed file system. Um, basically, it works off a uh, um, you know in the like in the UND, you can have the file ID um, and then you can load the file by ID. But we don't really need to load the file ID because we have the path um, in the <coughs> value URI. So if you want to just var dump the node 
um, and then you can see um, the value in the, in the array or basically what I'm just saying is for each um, property image as key value var dump image rel yeah so we'll just hit refresh right and now I'm getting these public um, picture images you know and then the names of the file right now there's two ways to display it one you can straight up um, just get the um, translate the uh, the URI into a URL so I'm just using a bit of a snippet here which you can find on my blog or find in there anyway print create URL the file URI so I'm going to get rid of this bar dump and we're going to hit refresh and now you can see that that's turned into straight up um, um, image URL that's not very appropriate um, because that's just the image that's like the full on image reference and I don't, you know, I don't want to have just the, the image reference so I'm going to leave, there, leave that there for just an example um, and then I'm going to grab another little snippet um, that is actually going to utilize um, Drupal's inbuilt uh, theming styles for the um, to actually render the th a thumbnail or whatever okay um, so for this one it's like print theme image style and it gives it an array and the style name this one is thumbnail and then the path is that that value URI again yep so I'm gonna save that and then we'll see what happens okay so now for you know um, for that particular reason uh, you could, you know, you you can you can change the, you know, say this thumbnail. What do we set it as? Tiny, tiny. And then we got tiny. You know, but these aren't linking to anything, or there's no JavaScript. There's no, you know, it sure doesn't look like this yet. <laughs> but it's the it's just the the ability to um, kind of do a you know do a for each. Um, in there, uh, right? So, <clears throat> generally, what we can now do is um, w what we were just working on was um, working, you know, starting to work with images in your template. So now, like you can, could wrap wrap this around with, um, you know, you know, you could you can do whatever you want with this you can make that like because we're in bootstrap maybe we'll make that into a mini carousel or something like that um, but it gives you the um, the base idea of, of how to theme some images